Hello everyone, the Dirt Medic here and in this video we will talk about Staphylococcus aureus. Now Staphylococcus aureus or Staphylococci belong to a group of medically important gram-positive cocci. Staphylococcal infections range from trivial infections to life-threatening, rapidly fatal infections. The most virulent of the genus is known as the Staphylococcus aureus, which mainly causes food poisoning and toxic shock syndrome. Now, this video will be an in-depth analysis of the Staphylococcus aureus. If you need a rapid revision video for your exams, you can click on the i button over here. Now let's understand where in the free-living bacteria world lies our Staphylococcus. Now free-living bacteria, based on their properties of gram staining, can be divided into gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria. Now if you don't know what gram staining is, you can check out the video on our channel, the link will be in the description box below. Now gram-positive bacteria can be either cocci or round-shaped bacteria or they can be bacilli or rod-shaped bacteria. Now cocci can again be micrococci, enterococci, staphylococci, streptococci or peptostreptococci. Now today's video is all about staphylococci. Now staphylococci has three main medically important bacteria within it. One is known as staphylococcus aureus, another one is staphylococcus epidermidis, staphylococcus saprophyticus. Now today we will focus on the staphylococcus aureus. Now let us understand the features of Staphylococcus aureus. Now under microscope, the Staphylococcus aureus appears to be a gram-positive cocci and it appears in clusters and represent the clusters of grapes. Now apart from that, it is a facultative anaerobe that means it prefers oxygen but can survive without it also. And in biochemical analysis, it shows presence of catalase as well as coagulase enzymes. Now let us come to the pathogenesis of Staphylococcus aureus. Now, generally, staphylococci colonize the skin of humans. Now, in the skin, if they can get a breach, like a laceration or abrasion, they enter through that breach and they invade. Now, after this invasion, they can either produce toxins which can cause disease, which is known as intoxication, or they can infect the organism. That means they can directly go and create the disease. That is known as infection. That means colonization is followed by intoxication or infection. Now first learn about the intoxications of Staphylococcus aureus. Now Staphylococcus aureus produces one toxin known as hemolysin which causes lysis of WRBC. It also produces a toxin known as exfoliative toxin which damages the desmoglin 1 protein present in the cells of skin which cause cell junctions of the cells of the skin and this causes scalded skin syndrome. Apart from that, it also produces a fibronectin binding protein on its surface which binds to the fibronectin present on the extracellular matrix and which helps in adherence of Staphylococcus aureus. It has a leukocidin naming exotoxin which causes WBC lysis. It also has a protein A on its surface which binds to the FC component of IgG and imparts an antiphagocytic effect. It produces a toxin known as toxic shock syndrome toxin 1. It acts as a super antigen and interacts with the MHC class 2 and T lymphocyte interaction and causes hyperactivation of T lymphocytes leading to release of a lot of IL-2, TNF-alpha and interferon gamma. And this leads to toxic shock syndrome. Apart from that, the Staphylococcus also produces a lot of enzymes like catalase, coagulase, hyaluronidase and fibrinolysine. They also lead to or help in the pathogenicity of Staphylococcus aureus. Apart from that, in the inserted devices like a needle or IV cannula or catheter, the Staphylococcus can produce biofilms and can cause catheter-associated bacterial infections. So this is in brief the intoxication of Staphylococcus aureus. Now let us move to the infections. Now from superficial to deep, the Staphylococcus aureus can produce uh, abscess or boils, impetigo, folliculitis or cellulitis on the skin. Then it can move deeper and either go to blood or can go to muscles. In the muscles it can produce pyomyositis. Then it can go to the bones and produce osteomyelitis. In the joints it can produce septic arthritis. And if in the bloodstream it can reach to organs like brain and can cause brain abscess, meningitis. In heart it can cause infective endocarditis and in the lungs it can cause pneumonia. So this is in brief the idea of infections. Now let us understand how we diagnose Staphylococcus aureus. Now diagnosis involves multiple steps. We start with a direct smear microscopy in which we take the sample aseptically, smear it on a slide, stain it with gram stain and see under microscope. Under microscope we can see gram positive cocci in cluster along with epithelial cells. 
Now we can take the sample and can smear it on the agar and can call, produce cultures or nutrient agar, blood agar or mannitol salt agar. And now from the culture plates, we can take the sample and cause a culture smear microscopy under which we can see gram positive cocci in clusters. Apart from that also, we perform biochemical tests involving coagulase which converts fibrinogen into fibrin. And this test shows a coagulase positivity in case of Staphylococcus aureus. And we can also perform a test involving catalase enzyme which converts H2O2 into H2O and O2. Now this O2 causes bubbling in the test and this represents a catalyst positivity. I hope you have understood the idea of Staphylococcus aureus, how we diagnose Staphylococcus aureus and how it clinically presents to the hospital. Now, if you have understood this video well, you can find out the notes and the flashcards regarding this video and many other videos on my Instagram and Facebook page. The link will be in the description box below. For medicine related content, you can subscribe to my channel, The Nord Medic, or you can also get in touch with me by using the following information below. For biology related content, you may follow Animated Biology with Urban, who is a proud collaborator of our channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.